Hey everyone, it's Barb. Before you see the rest of the vlog, I thought I'd jump on here and explain something that's important about today's recipe. You know, I'm all about hiding vegetables in food, especially uh, as a vegan. I love coming up with creative ways, so you're going to see that done twice today in this video. But this video is about making vegan ribs. And when I say vegan ribs, they look like pork ribs. They certainly taste a lot like pork ribs, but they're not. And I understand that, and I want all of those viewers who are going to watch this video, I'm not trying to make something to substitute for something I'm missing. I approach every recipe as something you new and unique and delicious, but it has a plant-based focus. I just don't enjoy eating meat anymore, but I really want to show you some of the amazing recipes that I create, and that's why I have this blog. And also about how I hide vegetables within the various foods that I make so that I really do increase the amount of plant-based goodness that goes into my recipes. I'm so great, grateful that you guys have found my channel and that you're watching these things, but just understand this isn't about trying to hide the fact that these are not pork ribs. These are plant-based, delicious vegan ribs, and enjoy that for what it is. I hope I'm making sense here, because I just want you to know I'm not missing anything, but we do enjoy recipes that somewhat look like sometimes something that we used to have, but it's all different, all new, and all very delicious. Thank you, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, it's Barb. What's for dinner? Oh yeah, you already know. It's jacked up vegan ribs. Look at these babies. I know you wanted to grab one. So these barbecued ribs are delicious and tender. Here's how they looked on the plate with our cauliflower, smashed potatoes, asparagus, and the ribs. So go ahead, roll the intro. So there's the jackfruit in the pan with the water and the barbecue sauce getting ready to get saucy. There's what the jackfruit is. It's this thing you gotta slice it and dice it, but I get it in the can at Trader Joe's or at Sprouts. So to the pan is the bar we add barbecue sauce, and I love this barbecue sauce. It's called Rib Rack. This is the bourbon one. Not a lot of stuff in there, just the good old goodness. And here's the jackfruit, all ready. It, you know, melted down in the pan, so it became t they gave it the right texture. And I use wheat gluten to make this. What is it? Vital wheat gluten. Well, it's very high in protein. It's the gluten that is remaining when you wash away the flour. And it's sort of like what they add to bread. So here you see it in the bowl, the wheat gluten, the nutritional yeast, my spices, recipes down below, of course. And then here's the liquid ingredients. Always within every recipe, I always have sort of a star ingredient. And in this particular case, it's the Penzi's Northwood seasoning. This is smoky and delicious. So there's the bowl with the cool jackfruit added to all of the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients and you get your hands in there and you mix it up and it comes out to be sort of a dough. They call vital wheat gluten wheat meat and uh, here it is all pressed into the pan ready to go in the oven. Now it's going to bake for 30 minutes. I'm going to take it out and uh, in the meantime while it's baking let's talk about the cauliflower. So there it is with the Yukon Gold Potatoes hidden in this mash is going to be two cups of cauliflower. I add a secret ingredient to this too and that is my favorite vegan cream cheese and a little butter, a little salt and pepper, and then there's going to be some, um, some chives added to it as well. But there you can see the finished product. So very delicious. Okay, meat's out of the oven. What now? Well, I slather it with barbecue sauce on the front and the back, and then it's going to go back in the oven. It's going to bake, and voila, here you got it. it you cut it into sort of boneless rib type of, of uh, slabs, and look at that. I know, it looks good. It was good. And of course, dinner's ready. Steve's eyes, like I said, bugged out when he saw this. He was like, oh my God, this is so good. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So there you have it. I love those asparagus too. So remember, we've got jackfruit in the ribs, we've got cauliflower hidden in the potatoes, and then there's the 
asparagus. We definitely got our veggies in in this meal. And I just love making it. And I'll make it again because this is a great recipe. And as I said, the recipe is going to be down below. So no worries about that. And I want to thank you for watching. Go ahead, grab one. I dare you.